So I've just scooped up Alfie Johnson from Diode Electrical from Reception. We even got the little hill click in there as well, which we all <laughs> yeah. love one of those. I can't do it, bro. I've got a really bad back. And we've rushed him into the workshop before the learners come just to quickly get in an electrical ramble. Yeah. And I'm going to give you only two minutes love to it. explain to the people out there, and we'll be on the clock, Diode Electrical. Tell me in two minutes all about it. Perfect, two minutes, I'll do it, in, I'll do it sooner, hopefully. Um, so Dial Electrical is a brand new platform um, for, to help the electrical industry. It's helping electricians and electrical wholesalers connect and purchase and procure uh, electrical materials. Um, the idea of it is, uh, as an electrician, they can create one materials list and then they'll be able to identify who, in their geolocation, what wholesalers can operate, electrical wholesalers, um, if the materials are available, what's the lead time for delivery, and then the overall price. And then straight from there, they can then either purchase with that electrical, uh, that electrical wholesaler through account or a buy now sort of scheme. Um, and it just speeds up that whole, pres uh, that whole process of a business. Um, and just it makes them more effective as an electrical contractor or, or an electrician trying to uh, procure materials. Um, it's great for electrical wholesalers as well because it will identify a new future generation, yeah. uh, the electricians who are using these online platforms, yeah. um, and it sort of just grow the industry. So go to a job, do a materials requisition sheet inside the software that you've given us? Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's phone-based. Um, phone-based, phone based in, as long as you've got internet. Okay, cool. That's, that's pretty iPad, so, yeah. iPad, phone, laptop. I, I do a materials list. Uh, I come away from the job, I can add or change that material list. Yep. I send it off to a number of electrical wholesalers in the local area. Will it go automatically to those? Automatically. So when you actually search your materials, uh, as long as you connect to the internet, it will show you, identify each wholesaler and their materials that they actually have in stock. Okay. So then you can select from it. Um, it's all categorized as in sockets, switches, cable, security, um, tools, fixings, oh, right, everything wow. like that. So they can, you can go through it, nice pictures, uh, spec sheets, everything, all the information you need there in front of you as you're walking around pricing the job. Save that materials list. Um, you can come back to it later today or you can add to it, amend it, um, and that's it. And then when you're ready, go connect to the wholesaler. So it goes out to wholesalers, it might go to more than one. Yes. And it will then give me an option of the type of material I've asked for and maybe the price and lead in time. Is that the idea? It will give you straight away. You identify wow. it will identify straight away. So you'll know, so you won't, you won't even send out and then bring back because again, time saving, you will know straight away as soon as you go, I'm happy with this list, and it will say what wholesalers operate, the, if they stock all those materials, and the overall price. Okay, so and potentially saving electricians time. The, the, the bugbear with anyone, especially if you're working in a small or a team, or even as an individual uh, electrician working for himself, is the amount of time you spend standing at the electrical wholesaler's counter, even though it's great fun and you get probably you know breakfast mornings or the rest of it, but it's time out your day, yes. time you've got to put in. And then obviously the time in the evening, where again, you're doing the same process again, you're, you're gathering in material as in uh, evidence of what you need for the job. Yeah, all of those requisition type things. And again, that's more time out of your life, isn't it? Exactly that. And this is the whole reason why I've created this platform, purely because I was there. I, I, was, strugg I was struggling, really, with this sort of the time in the, in the day. So I was going out to price a job at a scrap piece of paper. And so I was going around with a, with a client or a customer. I was writing everything down. Then I'd then come home. Well, I'd either call up my wholesalers and try and find out if you've got those materials available. And this is sort of when I'm looking to do the job. Or if they weren't open, because obviously they still cl they close at like seven o'clock or well, right. earlier than that. Um, so then you can't even call them. So they have to come home, write an email, send it out to them. Um, and it was that process, and it was it was time consuming. I was working in the evenings, getting the, getting the neck from the misses, um, and yeah. So it's sort of how can I make that faster, more effective? Make I mean, not not to worry about it as a business. I can focus on the electrical side, focus on giving value to the customer, and I know that my materials um, and professional documents and invoicing is all done, structured, and it's really good. And you know, being an electrician yourself, you know, obviously stepping out, this this launches in February. Is that right? February, hopefully, yeah, end of February, definitely early 2020. But yes, it's going. I'm aiming for the end of February. And we like that. And you mentioned in that as you were going through, that there's another person in your life. So I heard you mention somebody. Would that be? Would that be your wife? Uh, not wife. Okay, yes. so let's go for breaking news, because uh, we've had this off camera, so we're going to go for breaking news for 2020. Late. The relation <laughs> Late 2020. He's added that in. The, 
the relationship may change in the near future. What, what were you suggesting you would like to happen in 2020? Remember, at this stage in the video, I'd just like to say, probably your partner's the only one who's got to this point, so she will hear this. Yeah, so I hope she's not watching this, so she doesn't know, but I'm aim, my aim for the end of the year would, yeah, we would like to settle marriage, well, the question will be asked, uh, and hopefully the right answer. <laughs> so breaking news, Dino Electrical's getting married early, early Fresh, 2020. Late 2020. Fresh Christmas shot. crackers, if you watch it, watch it. Can we have your partner's name or not? It doesn't matter. Uh, no, I'm not, no, even, no, I'm okay. not even so, giving those So if there's Christmas crackers on the table, you know who you are. If there's Christmas crackers on the no. table, they keep moving one into your position, you know there's something special in there. <laughs> if, it's, if it's a moment quiet on the uh, 31st, as we're waiting for the chimes for the new year, Fresh you know it's coming to you. So well, congratulations, you get married uh, early February. No. Okay, 2020. No. <laughs> <laughs> late, yeah. late to me, it's really. I've got pressure. I've got too much pressure. I'm going to say you've got yeah, a lot yeah. going on, and they're going to volley in, yeah. a, volley in a, uh, a wedding as well, because that comes with other things, don't oh, you? You've got don't. married. Yeah, it'll be a cascade of misery be, coming your way. Oh, you know, a couple a, of those things running around, taking your entire life out of you. Sorry, that's yeah. experience from my two. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Yeah, yeah I know. God, yeah, it's, uh, family life. I could do a ramble on the family life. Oh. I should have my kids and do a ramble with them. That would yeah. be really interesting. Uh, exciting life uh, at home for me. So we're, we're, we're less than seven days away from a, a major event in my life, and that is also in Marcus's life, because uh, I've talked off camera to you. Star Wars, the final episode, The Rise of Skywalker, okay, is out um, less than a week away. Big Star Wars fan or not? I'd like Star Wars, but I wouldn't say I'm a dedicated fan like yourself. Okay. I like to watch them, but I'm not like follow. Okay, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm so not you won't a be one, joining me at one minute past I'm, midnight yeah, then I'm to, not, to, to, to watch it. No, I'll be tucked up in bed, um, but I'll definitely watch it. Yeah, so me, me and Marcus are there. We've got, we've got to go because the following day we're with younger people again. So if there's been some sort you. of amazing ending to it, I'm going to walk straight in, and someone, whether I like it or not, is going to tell me the ending. So we're going to stumble through the film. I, t I tend to do a little bit of napping during it. I do the old, whoa, oh. here we go, and we're back, and we're back, and then you think, oh, I've missed a really important bit. But as long as I'm awake, I think, for the for the ending, I think there's going to be a lot of legacy characters returning. Maybe somebody like uh, Ewan McGregor might be back in it, the guy that played Anakin Skywalker in episodes two and three. I think he might be in it as well, so maybe Vader's return. I know... Uh, so he'd be pretty old then. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, he, was, he was fairly young when he died. He's probably... I don't know, 40s, so yeah, 30, uh, end of 30s. So yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to that. You, you can't join in on that one, but uh, yeah, we're really, really <laughs> I won't ruin it. about it. Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, no one's ruined it for me, I'm yeah. gonna be there. I remember when we went to see uh, The Force Awakens, when we walked out of the one minute past midnight one, the next lot were waiting to oh, go Oh, you in. told them. And people couldn't keep their mouths oh, shut. Liberty. Well, we never saw Luke until that last 30 seconds. Oh. Well, I thought it was going to be a punch up in the foyer. I was like, try to get out, try and get out. Don't, don't speak, don't speak. Why would you do <laughs> yeah, it? Just it's think, like you walk out, it's like, <sighs> yeah, just tell them, yeah. yeah. Darth Vader dies. What? Yeah, yeah, one of them, innit? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, so all exciting things are coming up. You, you're now with us at college. Um, you, I'd imagine only going back and training yourself. Have you ever walked back into a college really to, to have a look what's going on from a visitor point of view? Not from a visitor point of view, only for just sort of adding skills to the, uh, to the electrical bank. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, this is the first time I've sort of come back as a sort of visit, visitor, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's gonna be good seeing the future in the industry. Sort of bring them all together as a band, of brothers yeah. uh, and sisters, <laughs> yeah. as they say. Yeah, yeah there will be. Yeah, and um, yeah, but I'm looking forward to it. It's just good to sort of see how he's sort of adapted and sort of how, what their sort of. It's good to see what their perspective on the electrical industry is and what they want to do as well in the industry. So. Alfie has an experience talking to a room of 16 and 17 year old people that are mildly interested. So that's coming up. So you got that, you're looking at the audience yeah. saying, wow, come yeah. on, I've given up a day for this. You know, imagine no. if you give up every day for it. You I'll, know, get I'll get them going. I'll there be push ups we'll and go, burpees. Yeah. We've got to do the, yeah, yeah. can we do the yeah. flick? Yeah, how many people do yeah. the flicking? Yeah. So, so th that's good, that's interesting. We're obviously going to be circulating in. We've got some other visitors today. We've also got Sam and Ricky from Electricians Guide yep. to Everything podcast. So that should be interesting. We're hoping we might have to, well, if we do one of these, we might have to censor Sam, I would imagine. Yes. Oh, we have the beeper. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> Rules of the ramble. Yeah. Sam, Sam, you're going to need to keep that to your own podcast. <laughs> we always find that difficult because we've played some of the podcasts in here and I'm, I'm desperately looking at the door thinking if somebody walks in and uh, we've got a moment going on in those. But I suppose it's a reflection of reality, isn't it? We're in I a it, construction yeah. industry. You talked about brand of brothers. Um, that's what I think the electrical industry is. And I think brother being most male and female, we're embracing yes. uh, all and anyone in between if we want to go actually to the 2020 uh, 20, uh, definition of who we are. 
Um, and I agree with that because I'm, I'm sure you're the same. You know, the people that I, I worked and trained with us uh, were lifelong friends and still are. And they were actually at my wedding. Um, all the guys that were ushers were guys that I'd chop sockets out with that week, yeah. laid in roof spaces and all, all the rest of it. And I, and I like the way, you, you know, that band of brothers thing come in. Have you got a, a background beyond the electrical industry? Yeah, so my initial background, I did nine years in the military. Oh, right, um, okay. So, yeah, operational tours everywhere, living each living each other like you know pretty much digging a hole and living it with your brother next to you so wow. i love that camaraderie that brotherhood sticking together you're in it you're you're both in the same scenario you're both in the same situation and just sort of pushing each other along um and that's what i do like about the electrical industry there's definitely pockets within our industry where people are and groups are looking after each other uh, and they're helping the industry so i'd love for that to carry on yeah and also just to sort of give them they're not alone. Sometimes some people do think that you can sort yeah. of get yeah, tied into saying you're alone. Yeah. Just to talk out and yeah, there's yeah. so many people to help. And I like that. I, I, I think every, everyone, but we're obviously connected to the electrical industry, it would be a, a better world if we all worked together, Hunting. maybe than, than pockets of people working together. I, yes. I, I like the, the connectivity. Definitely. Well, we'll use that word now with the obviously the smart world. Yeah, the connectivity within the electrical industry could do with being improved. Maybe your software package will make electricians maybe look at different electrical wholesalers and different aspects of it. But yeah, I think I think the more things that we can do um, across the electrical industry and eFix try and get out to see other colleges. So me and Joe are trying to drive out to see other colleges. And we also want to share best practice. So if we've got some material they want off us, you know, lecturing notes or whatever, just have That's them. it. Yeah, it's good. Stop, stop keeping stuff. I don't know why people, they, people are, I've worked with guys as well. I've had guys who work for me and they, they think like if I know it all and, yeah. and, and I hold it all and I won't spread it, but it's the worst thing they could do. Yeah. If they just give value to everyone, they will get value back. Yeah. People appreciate that. Um, it's all about learning. You're part of the team, so you want everyone to know. And also, if you're if you're a man down, we always got taught this. You should know your left and your right man, everything that they need to know at the job. Because if they go down, you can step in. You right, okay. So um, it's it, any business really, but yes, that's what I've sort of always been told and dealt with. Uh, and that's what this sort of software as well, uh, Dyed Electrical, is going to help because obviously online buying. You have like Amazon, eBay coming into well yeah. into the, the industry. It's sort of they don't get the value that electrical wholesalers will give an electrical electrician an electrical yep. business. So it's in giving that connection so they can give value to their business and progress. So it's all helping the industry. And again, today, thanks to people like yourself and obviously Ricky and Sam, the learners here at Tresham College get to experience something different. So perhaps yeah. rather than just clipping the next piece of cable to the board, we're actually going to have a little bit of further insight. I think we've also got Super Rod coming in today. Super Rod, yeah. 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 Great so guys. Should be good. Really good. So on that note, uh, just to, for the record, make sure you clear your calendar in 2020 if you're a friend of Alfie's because you will be going to a wedding, probably early, <laughs> like I said, maybe February, oh, Valentine's Day sounds good to me. I've been stitched and, up. Uh, yeah, <laughs> as everybody gets stitched yeah. up on these things. That's why it's a one take and no edit because oh, it all goes yeah. in. So Jeez, are, you, are you gonna try and do the, I hope this video has been some help bit at the end. Do you wanna do the, the old thumbs up bit? Do you wanna do, we hope this video has been some help so he doesn't watch any of it. Ready? Do, do, do. So ready? So Alfie, we hope this video uh, has been some help. help. <laughs> Didn't say it wrong. Yeah, that's it. good. It all stays in.